Good morning, kindergarten. This is Ms. Rich this is Richardson. I'm gonna do our read aloud with you today for Thursday, September 17th, 2020. The title of our book is Clifford Goes to Kindergarten. This is the title. It's written and illustrated by Norman Bridwell. The author writes the words, the illustrator draws the pictures. So Norman Bridwell, he wrote the words and drew the pictures. <clears throat> so title page. Hello, my name is Emily Elizabeth and this is my dog Clifford. I started kindergarten yesterday. At first I was scared, but now I love school. Before school started, my mom read me a book about what my first day of kindergarten would be like. She said I would make lots of new friends and learn all about writing, counting, animals, and my neighborhood. We went to see my new school. Clifford stayed outside, but just knowing he was close made me feel better. We met my teacher, Miss Tate, and she showed us around the classroom. She was very nice. We visited the nurse's office. If I ever feel sick, the nurse will take care of me. Hmm. So who takes care of you if you're sick, if you're at school? Later, we played school in my backyard. I was the teacher and my mom and Clifford were my students. I tried my best to be just like Miss Tate. Give me a thumbs up or, or thumbs down. Do you play teacher? Do you play school at home? I still had a few questions for my mom. I asked her what would happen if I missed home or if I didn't make any friends. She said that Miss Tate would help me feel better if I was sad. She would also make sure I didn't have to play by myself. The next day, Clifford and I were playing hide and seek when a letter came in the mail. It was from my teacher. Hmm, as a good reader, I'm thinking to myself, what is in that letter? Let's keep reading to find out. The letter said each kindergartner could bring something from home to school on the first day to help them feel comfortable. I knew exactly what to bring. Hmm, what do you think she's going to bring? On the first day of kindergarten, Miss Tate greeted us at the classroom door. She was very surprised to see Clifford. All the other kids brought stuffed animals, toys, or blankets. They all smiled when they saw Clifford. It was time for school to start. I said goodbye to my mom. We sat in a circle and Miss Tate taught us a welcome song. Clifford tried to sing along too, but all he could do was howl. <laughs> then we all took turns to the front of the class to answer a question on the board. Miss Tate, Ask the question. We wrote yes or no. 
And the question says, did you play outside this weekend? And they wrote yes or no. Even Clifford had a turn. We practiced letters and words. Some kids were nervous about writing. Clifford gave them kisses to help them feel better. Unfortunately, his kisses were very slobbery. So what happened to the children's paper after Kip Clifford gave them a kiss? Would you pause and think about that question. What happened to the children's paper after Clifford gave them a kiss? Next, Miss Tate asks us to paint a picture of home. Clifford missed home as much as I did. When he saw my painting, he started wagging his tail really fast. Oops! He knocked over some of the water and paint with his tail. Oh no! Clifford rolled around on the floor to try to clean it up. I'm sorry, to try and clean it up. Finally, it was time for lunch. I was so hungry, Clifford, so was Clifford. Everyone loved Clifford so much, they wanted to give him treats. But Miss Tate, Tate said we needed to eat our own food so we could have energy for the rest of the school day. At recess, everyone wanted to play with Clifford. We made a lot of friends on the playground. Clifford's tail is a great jump rope and his nose is the best slide. At nap time, we were all tired from playing outside but we weren't used to sleeping on the rug. It was hard to get comfortable. Then Clifford had an idea. I'm sorry, that says, that's when Clifford had an idea. And I wonder what his idea was. Clifford let everyone snuggle up with him Soon we all fell asleep, fast asleep. Miss Tate was happy we were able to nap. We still had a long school day ahead of us. Clifford saved nap time. We woke up ready for the rest of the school day. Bringing Clifford to my first day of kindergarten was a big success. I can't wait to go back to school tomorrow. The end of the book. And I forgot to mention. So this is the front cover of the book. And when we got to the end, we got to the back cover. Let's go over that again. This is the front cover, back cover. This is the title. This is the right title. And Norman Bridwell, he's the author because he wrote the words and the illustrator because he drew the pictures. All right, that's it for today.